Hi, everyone. Today I am going to explain a case with a diagnosis of plaque-induced gingivitis on intact periodontium. We have a male patient that is 23 years old. Here you can see intraoral photos. This is a full perio chart which pocket depth and bleeding points are recorded. You can see that the highest pocket depth is 3 and there are no recessions and enlarged pockets, no mobility and no furcation seen. We ask the patient about medical history and allergies. The patient is healthy, but he has an allergy to cat hair, no smoking. The chief complaints are patient noticed white spots on the front tooth and a cavity on the back tooth, but no pain from it. Also, patient is not happy with the appearance of the teeth. He is brushing with a soft toothbrush only once a day and not using floss or mouthwash. He is having the habit of chewing on pens. Last visit to the dentist was about 10 years ago, which was for a checkup. I did an extraoral examination on the patient, which I found clicking on the opening of the jaw, but no pain. On intraoral examination, my finding was a hypoplastic lesion on tooth 1-2, heavy calculus lingual of lower anterior teeth, also cavities on all first molars. I asked the patient about his breathing and found that he is a mouth breather, which can be the reason for calculus. How I find the diagnosis is to find out my highest number of pocket depths, which here I have 3 millimeters. Also, I check my bleeding points and divide by the number of teeth. The result here is more than 10%. As I don't have pocket more than 3 millimeters, so here I don't need to take an x-ray to check bone loss. Also, I don't have attachment loss here. So my diagnosis is plaque-induced gingivitis on intact periodontium. After my findings... I start the treatment by educating and motivating the patient. I advised patient to use a new medium small head toothbrush with still man technique two times a day for two minutes. I also recommend the disclosing tablets to make it easy to see where are the plaque accumulation. I prescribed chlorhexidine 2% mouthwash for two weeks two times a day for 30 seconds. Then I did supra and subgingival scaling to remove calculus. I referred patient to a restorative dentist for the restoration of cavities, also to prosthodontics to do a veneer of the tooth with hypoplastic and orthodontic for malocclusion. Asked patient to come for a hygiene appointment after six months. Thank you for watching.